Europe has been always influential in global politics and economics with a rich cultural history and diverse communities. Over the years, Europe has maintained diplomatic relations with various nations worldwide, including China. China's rise as a major economic and political power has captured the attention of Europe, leading to an increasing interest in strengthening their ties. As a result, many European nations are exploring opportunities to collaborate with China on various fronts, including trade, investment, and technology. That's why today, we will talk about Europe's recent interest in aligning with China, which could result in them distancing themselves from the US. Hey everyone, before we dive in, don't forget to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with Tech Revolution. Russia's attack on Ukraine had unexpected results, one of which is that European leaders began to woo China's President Xi Jinping more than a year after the conflict started. Although the EU is strict on Russia, it was surprising to see them taking a soft approach to Russia's key ally. At a meeting in Beijing, French President Emmanuel Macron stood alongside Xi, who did not condemn Putin's war and spoke about counting on him to bring Russia back to its senses and the negotiation table. China's relationship with the European Union has been unstable over the last 10 years. In 2020, they agreed to an investment deal after lengthy negotiations, but it's currently on hold due to political differences. The EU considers China a system rival, especially when the Chinese government sanctioned European Parliament members for criticizing their treatment of Uyghur Muslims. This has led to tensions, worsened by the pandemic's lack of personal contact. On the other hand, some EU members are upset because they believe strong economic ties with China are necessary for the bloc to achieve its goal of being a significant global player. The EU wants to be able to make its own decisions when it comes to foreign policy, which is called strategic autonomy. This means the EU wants to be a third power, not controlled by the US or China. Some people in the eastern part of the EU are worried that being independent of the US could make Europe less safe because they see NATO as the best way to protect Europe. These people are often critical of anything that could make Europe less reliant on the US. The president of the EU Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, had voiced her concerns about China's recent actions. She stated that China had become more oppressive and aggressive towards other countries. She believed China had abandoned its reformist path and placed its national security above international cooperation. In addition, Ursula von der Leyen also accused China of trying to restructure the global order to benefit itself. However, she emphasized that Europeans shouldn't abandon China because of these issues. Instead, they should focus on minimizing the risk in their partnerships without completely breaking away from China. Now, the European Union has faced criticisms for prioritizing economic ambitions over global injustice. However, the EU surprised many by taking a strong stance against Russia through sanctions and coordinated military aid. This has earned praise from diplomats and officials in organizations like NATO and the UN. The EU did not punish Putin's close ally, unlike what was done to Russia. The Ukraine conflict made some European officials realize that their bond with China may be more crucial than before. According to a European diplomat, they cannot take the same tough stance as the US in severing ties with China due to geographic, economic, and strategic limitations. They also cannot simultaneously distance themselves from both Russia and China. The diplomat stated that sanctions on Russia have caused energy prices to rise. You see, they need to acquire cheap solar panels to shift from relying on Russian gas to renewable energy. China is a major source of affordable solar panels and they cannot abandon both their previous and new energy sources simultaneously. Another diplomat said, nobody is ignorant enough to advocate for the free adoption of Chinese technology. However, most diplomats understand that they must have a strong economy to accomplish their long-term objectives, including attaining geopolitical influence over China. And if their economy is not thriving, their geopolitical significance will be lost. 
Meanwhile, French President Emmanuel Macron suggested that Europe should lessen its reliance on the United States and avoid being involved in the dispute between the US and China regarding Taiwan. President Macron highlighted his idea of strategic independence for Europe with France at the forefront to become a third global power. He expressed concern that Europe may get involved in external crises that hinder its ability to develop its strategic autonomy. Chinese President Xi Jinping and his Communist Party have strongly supported Macron's idea of strategic autonomy. They frequently mention it when engaging with European nations. Beijing's leaders and thinkers strongly believe that the West is declining while China is rising. They think that weakening the transatlantic relationship will hasten this trend. Moreover, Macron stated that it would be a puzzle if Europe panicked and became mere followers of the US Europeans should ask themselves if it's in their best interest to hasten a crisis in Taiwan. Macron warned that becoming followers of the US on this issue and triggering a Chinese overreaction would be the worst possible outcome. Furthermore, other EU officials think the European Union is crucial to China's success. Commission officials stated that China is crucial in the fight against climate change. A senior commission official explains that China's support for Russia is likely a strategy to appeal to their domestic audience by supporting a non-Western, non-NATO ally. However, the official suggests that this approach may benefit the West more than Russia in the long term. The official says that China's strength comes from its economy. China makes more trade with the EU than with Russia. They notice how sanctions affected Russia and did not want that for themselves. Additionally, China wants to be known as a responsible global player and does not want to disturb the world's balance of power. The view is optimistic, but member states, even those that used to be more lenient towards China, like France and Germany, are now more careful than ever. An influential government official from an EU member state expressed concern that it would be a difficult geopolitical challenge to manage if they also have issues with China while dealing with Russia. Everyone supports Macron's efforts to mend relations with China, but he's worried about the outcome and China's actions regarding Ukraine. The EU's China hardliners are worried, but they know Europe can't just abandon China while breaking off from Russia. Three diplomats from the most hawkish states agree that Europe needs to keep communication channels with China open. However, they stress that China could potentially join the war, so Europe needs to discourage China from supplying Russia with arms. Europe must take the lead in negotiations and ensure that China plays by Europe's rules. The fear was expressed that if China is asked to broker peace between Ukraine and Russia, it will be seen as a win for them regarding European security. Alicia Bakulska, a policy fellow at the European Council on Foreign Relations, believes that Europe has a chance to change its economic ties with China. She says that Europe must accept China's dominance and work on diversifying its economy. And although persuading China to change its position in Ukraine is challenging, the EU must engage with Beijing economically. The former Prime Minister of Finland, Alexander Stubb, thinks Russia's attack on Ukraine has ended the post-Cold War era and started a new world order. So to have a significant role in this new order, Europe should be close to the US but still maintain connections with China. After Putin invaded Ukraine, the West's response made people wonder if the US-led world order would come back. However, the issue with China hasn't disappeared. For Europe, deciding where to stand in a multipolar world is now more difficult and has more risk than before. So what are your thoughts on the EU's position regarding China? Should they work more closely with China and distance themselves from the US? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more interesting videos like this.